Okay, we are here with MJ Devonshire, one of the main corners for Pitt Panthers, and he just finished up his last spring ball game and is preparing to show off everything that he's been working on this spring on Saturday. So how are you preparing to be a leader for this team this year, and what are you doing now in spring ball to show your team that you are a leader? Um, working on being more vocal, you know, just communicating with the guys, whether a young guy, old guy, and learning how to communicate and how different people respond on the team. Everybody doesn't respond the same, and everybody doesn't respond to yelling. So you got to be able to get your message across to either guy, any guy on the team, and just learning how to do that has been a big jump for me this spring. So have you taken a different approach when you talk to the younger guys, you know, to make them comfortable? Yeah, definitely. I've been more encouraging. They hear enough hard times from the coaches. The coaches are always on them. So just being encouraging and letting them know that sometimes, you know, sometimes people need to hear they're doing a good job. So just being in those young guys' corners and letting them know, just keep going, keep pushing, keep working. Okay, and in some previous media interviews, you mentioned how you wanted to bulk up and how last season you felt like, you know, not pushed around, but, you know, kind of had some trouble with the bulkier receivers. So yeah. how do you think bulking up will improve your game? Um, just allow me to not be able to get pushed off as much and guys just not to, be able to move me around, you know, being a physical guy, you got to be able to have the weight and make it through a season. So being putting on weight and making it through the season will definitely help at the end of the year. When it comes to playing a big receiver, I won't be worn down. My body won't be as tired. I'll be able to hold my own weight. So are you happy with the weight that you hit? Or are you going to, you know, bulk up a little bit more? Definitely happy with the weight I've hit, but I know if I get a little bit more weight on me, I'll be a lot more happy. Okay. And with some Panthers entering the draft, you will have different faces like on this Panthers secondary. So what are some pros that you've seen so far like with the new guys on the secondary and what are some things you feel like you should work on before your game in September? Um, I think they're they're young, so they're they're out there, they're running around, they're fast paced, they're like they're jittery and that's always a good thing. It's easier to slow a guy down than it is to speed him up. And like I said earlier, they just they don't make a lot of mistakes. They've learned in their years of of sitting down and sitting behind guys they learn from the guys that were they were going and sitting behind so definitely that's one thing they definitely do good and then just getting better just every day not being complacent and just growing every day as it'll be over time it'll just you'll see change and then september will hit and you'll be ready to go okay and what receiver matchup do you feel like gives you the most competition here in practice um i don't know who gives me the most competition I try to mix it up because every receiver has so many different tools and they, they have like what you would call a deep bag, as we say. So just working with different guys, like I know Tay's quicker, Bub stronger. I work like working with Day Day. Day Day uses his hands a lot. They all give me different things. They all got different tools. So I definitely like going against all of them for the most part. Okay, and lastly, Coach Narduzzi just mentioned that you guys are doing a different format for this year's spring game. Um, how do you feel that will benefit the team? Um, just getting reps, you know, everybody will get reps and coaches will be able to coach their position. And last year, you know, when you do a draft, sometimes you got the corners coach on the opposite team from us. So we're not getting coached by him directly during game day. But this year, but the offense, defense, the coach Collins will be able to coach all of us and see all of our reps and be only worried about the defense because he's not on the opposite team. Okay, well, I look forward to seeing you on the sideline how vocal you'll be this Saturday and good luck. Thank you.